Hello and welcome to the news button. The head of process dreaded militia the Wagner Group, Ibjani Fregojin, has claimed a huge victory of taking the city of Bakhmut from the heavily armed and fortified Ukrainian forces, inflicting severe losses on their enemy forces. The Wagner chief claimed legal control of Ukraine's Bakhmut. From a legal point of view, Bakhmut has been taken. The enemy is concentrated in the western parts, Prigozhin said in an audio message posted on his press services telegram account. However, there was no indication from the Ukrainian officials that Bakhmut has fallen into Russian hands. Fighting had engulfed the center of Bakhmut. Ukrainian forces tried to repel around 25 Wagner attacks. But Russian forces had earlier managed to capture the Azov metal plant, which was heavily defended for days by Ukrainian forces. Wagner attacked the city center from the north, the east, and the south, and tried to take the city under its full control. After taking control of the city council area, Wagner's next assault is expected to come from the north, possibly outside Bakhmut. The dreaded militia may buy time to dig into the city council area. It needs control of those southern areas for any armor support. It's reported that it's just mopping up operations now. After taking the city, Rigozhin is seen raising the Russian flag over the city administration building and paying tribute to journalists Bloodland Tatarsky, who was assassinated in St. Petersburg earlier in the day in a bomb explosion in a cafe. Since Bakhmut has been one of the most heavily defended towns in the Donbas region, if Wagner has taken it, it's a huge victory. Probably it will soon put an end to the longest meat grinding battle in modern history. Hope you liked the video. So why wait? Give us a thumbs up. Before leaving, do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any comments, please leave your comments in the comment section. Thank you. Thanks for watching.